Hello, and welcome to the Comic Conspiracy, episode number 57 <laughs> for whatever week this is. Um, Mar- or no, I'm sorry, May 14th, uh, 2012. My name is Ryan Higgins. Uh, Omar is slowly dying <laughs> off microphone. That's uh, we, we lost one member of our podcast already. So, um, yeah, who else is here? Brock Sager. Hello, Brock. Hello. Who else we got over Omar. here? Omar. Down the end. <laughs> Toby. And Charlie. And Charlie. And way down the it's end, off camera... Is, oh, uh, it's our live studio audience. Yes. Oh, yes. We're now being filmed in front of a live studio audience. Jim, who's reading his newly perused comic books, but he's here for uh, for the nerd fest to just soak it up while he's while he's still here. So we're gonna have a plus sign soon, like one that lights up. Oh, up, oh an applause sign. sign yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lights yeah. Up. like your favorite show. Yeah. Which one? Big Bang Theory. That's a pretty <laughs> terrible show. Is that filmed in front of a live studio audience? No, because they're going to kill themselves if you were actually watching that show live. So. Well, the new season Red Dwarf was filmed in front of a live studio audience I, again. You know, I actually saw something about this. So Charlie, me and him are both really big Red Dwarf fans. <laughs> although he's bigger than me because I saw the... Oh, he is bigger than Well, you. he is bigger than me. <laughs> he's a very big <laughs> guy. Very just, big. So guys, just so you guys don't, don't know Charlie, he's very big. Yeah. We're going to go off... Uh, he's really lucky. <laughs> we're going to go off comics here for a second. But uh, Red Dwarf is a fantastic uh, science fiction uh, show on the BBC. That's been a science fiction comedy show that's been off the air for a while now, but they brought it back last season for like a, like yeah, a three back, episode. Back to Earth. Yeah, I, I actually haven't seen it. I heard it was really terrible, so I just it was not terrible. Really? No, it was not. Oh, terrible. I heard it was really bad, so I just kind of avoided it because I didn't want to spoil. Well, the show left off like it just kind of ended, and like there was no conclusion to it. Well, that goes into the whole. See, if Kickstarter existed back when Red Dwarf went off the air... I would kickstart a, a Red Dwarf reunion. I would kickstart Arrested Development. Yeah. Well, you don't need to. Well, but it's just... More Doctor Who's. You, you don't need to because yeah. they're I going would. to make more. I want more. <laughs> but it, it's like seven. Red Dwarf got lost in this, okay, we have funding to do a movie. We lost funding to do a movie. We got funding to do a movie. We lost funding to yeah. do a movie. And it, it's annoying and stuff, especially because... Back then, they're like, yeah, we got, like, they put out pictures of all the cast doing a read through the script and all that. And yeah, if they had Kickstarter back then, they could have just started a Kickstarter to get the money together to make a Red Dwarf movie. And I would have been really but, happy. But how many, You've um, been like their top supporter? How, how yeah, many episodes uh, are the, is it just three episodes again? No, or is it like a full no, season? It's a full season. So six, nine, six or something like that. Yeah, they're, I mean, it's standard short BBC. Yeah. Show so that's that's cool. If it's, I know this. I know this last kind of weird special season was off. So I'll come back. I'll rewatch it, or I'll, I'll watch it, and I'll watch this new season when it actually airs. So yeah. that does, should be cool. Does Red Dwarf actually have dwarfs in them? No, no, no. It's no. about a. It's about a mining ship. Yeah, called the Red Dwarf, which is <laughs> hence the name of the show. Very, very one of my favorite BBC yeah. shows. Very well, I funny. Think what you're thinking right now, because I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of hot chicks in it. No. no, there's no chicks in it. Well, for a few well, there's seasons, a floating head there for a while. Yeah, oh, for a few floating <laughs> head. Oh, oh that sounds head. awesome. <laughs> for a few seasons, the computer's a girl, but yeah. then they switch. They switch back, right? In the yeah, last like, season, black. I think. Yeah, I think yeah. the only thing I ever saw of that was a toaster. Yeah, that's everybody like the, loved the toaster. That's like the first episode. Yeah. yeah no, think- if space is no, I'm not even going to try to do it. I can't even do it. It's such it's such a great. Would you like some toast? So, well, Charlie, that's I think the, the punchline of well, every not, joke. Not counting Red Dwarf, but I think me and your Charlie need to go to Omar's place and we have a Doctor Who marathon. I'm always down for a Doctor and Who marathon. It does have girls. I'm okay. actually I'm actually back on Doctor Who. So yes. I'm, I'm I finished Torchwood season mm-hmm. one. I'm at the Human Dalek uh, episode of Ooh. Doctor Who. So cool. yeah, it's great. Any episode of the Daleks, is a great episode. So. You know how they've done all those like triple X parodies for like Batman, Super Friends. You know, yeah. I want to see a Dalek. Is there a, no? Is there a Doctor a Who one? triple X? I'm, 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 I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. I know for sure there was one that I think they <laughs> Wait, got sued. How do you sued? know for sure? Yes, I know for sure. Oh damn! <laughs> yeah. He's like, I know for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> Charlie was on set for that. So oh, he, Charlie, he, he, was on set. he is big yes. after all. <laughs> big Chicka, wow, wow. Yeah. His, his I don't know if anything was C. ever released, but I remember there was like a lawsuit against somebody who was trying to use Daleks in porn. <laughs> Wow. In what way? <laughs> they make well, great dildos. Yeah, well, it's, uh, we must you know, the best, penetrate. The best porn name ever. Penetrate. The best porn name ever would probably be Hodor, right? Hodor. Hodor. 
Speaking of very large things on film, Omar. Yes. This past weekend, uh, you were not with us last episode. Yes. But you saw some Avengers. Oh, and, yeah. And I thought, you know, one episode was not big enough to contain the Avengers. So, uh, Sweet. I can jump in and pretend yeah, like I was yeah, still yeah. here. Well, we have a bunch it. of news, so we can we can talk about it. But, but let's get your initial kind of... It's a big movie. You saw it. You loved it. Oh, it was it. great. Let's I mean, it. a lot of it was what I expected with how Joss Whedon was going to, you know, play off each other. Kind of like what Charlie said, doing the middle of the dialogue, the different timing, the gimmicks, the things that all the cult, the Whedon cult followers know him, what he does so well. But now he's doing it with this multi-million dollar, you know, budget and cast. And now he can get paid finally. Yeah. And now he, you know, yeah. he has like all, he has everything. He had the, you know, the, the, you know, the legitimacy, the cred. Now he can get some money and, you know, hope the big thing is, I hope he doesn't get sucked up by the industry. I hope he's mm-hmm. able to still put out the same kind of product that he has and still have he, he the same kind of autonomy and control. Fox. That's all it is. He needs to just so, stay away from Fox. Yeah. So Actually, because that's a problem. Yeah. I think he just honestly needs to find other outlets other than typical network television because all the stuff that got canceled would have probably survived if it was on sci-fi or a lot of those other stations out there that don't demand a 10 million plus audience to keep stuff on the air. Yeah, a show like Dollhouse would be... You know, sci-fi's biggest show. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just a canceled, another canceled Fox project. So it's like, yeah. there's no reason for. But I mean, at the same point, though, sci-fi is not going to give them the money to do the same type of money Fox is going to give them for a show. So, I, but he should be in the movies anyway. I mean, Avengers made him, <laughs> he can do. He, he's basically booked his next four or five years with at least another Avengers movie because there's no way they're going to get anyone but him to do it. He's pretty much got the stones at this point to do whatever he wants i yeah. mean yeah even like, what's that guy the producer or frank or something well i just think jj abrams i mean he still has different television shows going on the air and then he also has his movie stuff going on i mean he's all over the place and i kind of see joss whedon as the same kind of thing where he wants to do more dr horrible he wants to do more movies he wants mm-hmm. to he's definitely one of those people that's always got his hands <clears> in <throat> So many different mediums and stuff. So, well, yeah. he also wrote a nice oh, little letter to the books. fans, right, Charlie? Yeah, yeah, you he read did. that, right? What was yeah. that about? I didn't get to read it yet. He, he pretty much just did a open letters thanking the fans uh-huh. and everything. And I mean, he did the same thing around Serenity and that kind of stuff. He's very vocal with his fans, mm. pretty much saying thank you That's for cool. all the opportunities that you guys have helped me. That's really cool, yeah. actually. That's really cool. Though. And he's always been that way, right? Yeah. Always. It's not like yeah. all of the Hollywood people that now go yeah. to Comic Con to make them come and make them come and watch their movies no, and spend no. that much more money. Joss Whedon went to Comic Con before it was cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So no, I was really happy for him. I was happy for the cast. I mean, I knew that you know Rob Downey Jr. would be pretty much like an almost an Iron Man, you know, two and a half. Um, I love that Pepper Potts had, you know, somewhat of a, you know, she, Gwyneth Paltrow was actually in it and they didn't have to recast someone. That was cool to show that, that kind of like well, not loyalty, show yeah. that loyalty to the fans. And, you know, because yeah. yeah, to, for, I was, I was really disappointed when, uh, was it Cheadle was, yeah, when Cheadle, Cheadle, yeah, replaced He didn't, no. he was no good. No, no, no. yeah. Not I mean, the same. It was just not right. Yeah. yeah. I preferred to get He's guy. a good actor, but not that not role. Not for that role. He's not a, not. he's not a big buff no. military guy. I mean. Could he play Black Panther? Um, uh, I don't see him in that role either. I mean, I prefer to see Idris Elba. I mean, Don Don is a really That'll good actor, really but sick. but not not in yeah. the War Machine role. I just I he's too yeah. small. I hate to say it, but yeah. he's just no. Not, that's really what it is. He's a, a little bit older. Yeah. He's a little bit older and, 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 and know, small. The jokes in the run off as smooth as right. in the first movie. Right. The, the, the way the the guys in the first movie had back and forth just yeah. did not work in the. What's that actor's name again? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I was like trying to run it through my head as. But he's a, I mean, he's a dope, dope he's actor. Great, I mean, yeah. he's he's like he's a natural. He's that, got that natural like charisma and that swag. You know, in his voice, it sounds like yeah, yeah. It sounds oh, like Terrence like, Howard. Yeah, Terrence, yeah, yeah, Terrence Howard. Howard. Booyah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he just added so much element awesome. of cool. Yeah, he's and he was fantastic. able to like be on the same level as Downey. He's also Rock the Downey first guy to sign well, to so. Iron Man. Actually, the first guy before Robert Downey. Before oh, really? everybody, he's the first guy to sign on to the project. It's something I haven't really figured out what the criteria is with Marvel on recasting because a lot of times you hear it was recast because of scheduling issues mm-hmm. or this or that. But mm-hmm. when they recast Edward Norton and recast um, Terrence Howard and stuff, like there didn't seem to be any scheduling conflict or well, anything there. They just suddenly broke off negotiations and cast somebody else like within a day. I don't know what's true. 
but the rumor has on that Errol Norton is was he was horrible to work with. I don't know if it's true. I don't know. I what, could see that. He's I don't a know bit what happened. Supposedly he was not happy diva. with the 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 cut the Hulk. He wanted to re-edit it and stuff yeah, like that, that. That was all the talk around the movie. The yeah, Marvel but, basically they were like we're never working with you again. Like at, before the movie even came out. No, and why did they even go to negotiations? Maybe they had to. Well, again, I wasn't there, so I don't know. Yeah. You know, I hate, I hate to, uh, you know, just, just, you know, follow up what the press said. So sure, sure. Just, you know, who knows what really happened? Yeah, but more on the uh, Avengers film itself. Now that we're talking about it in its second weekend, I yeah. mean, one billion dollars. I mean, the well, only, the geez. biggest news right now is the Facebook IPO and the Avengers movie. <laughs> like, who would have thought comics would be on the same level Fuck as Mark yeah. Zuckerberg? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't have the specific drop off amount, but I mean, it dropped off about fifty percent. Or fifty four percent, I think, which is a lot when you think about it. Sure. But uh, comparatively, I think it would be more like four point forty nine percent or something because I think it was the, only two hundred and seven million in the first weekend, right? I think the number I saw was fifty four percent. But then you have to consider things like Harry Potter uh, and Avatar had dramatic drops, way yeah. more sixty sixty five percent or more uh-huh. because so many Avatar people didn't. Though I think Avatar lasted quite a bit, didn't it? I thought the second week had a pretty. Did it? I think Avatar second week but it was stuck a, around for quite it's a while. St- oh, it did, it did. Yeah. Um, but but Avengers for this type of movie had a fairly decent drop or, or, or a good drop off. I mean, it, it was yeah. very little comparatively well, to what it could have been. Some of my non-comic-book friends went to uh, see it over the weekend, and they said, like, why is there still lines? I'm like, yeah. yes! Yeah, no, I, that is won. incredible. I know, because, yeah. Brock, you saw it, right? You no, saw it again? No, we didn't get oh, to oh you didn't get to it again? Oh, another one of my friends, they're like, I went to a show when it was sold out this past weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm yeah. like, they're like, yeah, I had to go to thing. another show. Yeah. That's it's awesome. crazy. Well, I just, mm-hmm. for me, a large part of what sort of speaks to that is, Yes, me going to see a comic book movie and going, I need to go see that again, is not a big surprise to most of the people who know me. But the fact that my wife and her friends all want to go see it again and they're not big comic book people says something. And Thor isn't in there the whole time. (sighs) Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what was it? Uh, no, being even at the high school I work at, I mean, a lot of kids were saying, "Oh, I went and saw it again," or "I want to go see it again." So, I mean, even with teenagers, teenagers are wanting to see this movie. Well, again. teenagers should eat up this movie up. They oh yeah, should, they should be just eating this one up. I mean, if I was a kid and this was coming out, I mean, it's the whole world be over at this point. Like, holy shit, this exists. Yeah, I mean, I I, I had my, my wisdom teeth out this past weekend. I would have gone to go see it easily again this weekend. I'm totally planning to go see it this weekend, assuming you know I can get out there so i would have watched it again yesterday for mother's day yeah 15 of my family members all across four different generations nice but i had to help my mom like clean her yard and stuff like that do the real mother's day kind of stuff (laughs) but uh speaking more a little more in avengers though because you know we've talked about how many so many great things and then there's also a lot of you know the bad things that people say i want to just say a few things about things that i i was hoping to see but i didn't see enough of but a lot of it will probably be pretty predictable there wasn't enough girl action I mean, Kobe Smolder and Scarlett Johansson use them more. I mean, Scarlett Johansson, she had some cool moments. Kobe Smolder did not. She was like a secretary. This is fucking Maria Hill. This is like girl version of Nick, fucking Nick Fury. She should have been more badass. Perhaps they're setting it up a little this more. This is the first time we see her. I, I, yeah, right. I, I, I don't really like her casting. To be honest. I like yeah. her on How I Met Your Mother big time. I'm a big yeah. fan of that yeah. show. But I'm, I'm not really sure about that casting. Uh-huh. So I, I think, think kind of good with where they kept oh, her. Oh, really? I'm like, okay, I would have preferred if they switched Hawkman's role into Colby. I would I would have nah. preferred to see Hawkman as Hawkeye. a little secretary. Hawkeye. Yeah, no, Hawkeye as a secretary. No. Because no, Hawkeye no, was no, whack. On. I'm sorry. He was oh. whack. He was like a total douchebag with a bow and bow and arrow. And that's just the way I feel about it. That's Hawkeye. I don't yeah. know if I could drink this beer anymore right now. <laughs> well, I really, really think we're going to get a Shield movie. Yeah. I mean, they, I can see that, and happening. that will flesh out those characters All right. I, I, with Hawkeye yeah. and Black Widow. And don't, don't hate on my West Coast. Yeah. Man. Oh, no, no, before we no, before we keep going, no, seriously, if we want to go West Coast, yeah, Doorman, he would have been sick if in, in Doorman. That that's like, Westlink. <laughs> oh, Westlink. That's bad. Westlink Avengers, man. Let's get okay, your Stingray. Avengers. Okay, Stingray. Let's Great get Lake. your uh, get your Avengers straight, man. Great okay, Lake Avengers. All right. So some other things uh, I did didn't really uh enjoy as much was damn there wasn't a whole lot but now i'm like off the well, fact see, they I, never said avengers assemble yeah that's a pretty big deal <laughs> you know uh a buddy of mine is actually coming back from the uk he's gonna bring me that uk poster where it's not called marvel's avengers it's called avengers assemble i'm like yes yeah that marvel's cool. avengers is kind of weird yeah. marvel's the avengers yeah I most don't... people don't realize marvel's is actually part of the title the yeah real title is actually yeah. marvel's the event yeah i don't get that but i mean i, get I think it's, it's a rights of thing yeah. Uh, yeah yeah for the avengers or 
the original show. Because we show. have the Avengers movie. Uh, apparently, uh, Peanut Gallery knows why. What's up, Jim? Peanut Gallery? It's our live studio audience. The reason, the reason they did that is because they did not want them to uh, associate Avengers with, remember the TV show, The Avengers? Well, that's yeah, because in that the UK, movie. that's why. Right. Yeah. They changed it in the UK, but it's not called Marvel's The Avengers in the UK. Yeah, it's, it's called the Avengers, Avengers Assemble. But that, but that was yeah. the reason they did it. Because the Avengers, could, they, it was actually an Avengers movie. Yeah, that's right, right, right. The Sean Connery movie is here, too. Right, the Sean Connery and the... Mm-hmm. Right, we, we had the U.S. The, version yeah. of that. Which and is then, the movie based on that TV show. Right, right. I yeah. mean, yeah, 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 sure, I could see that if that's... But have, haven't they recently changed it to Disney's Marvel's Avengers? Disney's, no. No, 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 no. no. Oh, one other thing. It came back to me. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. The whole, oh, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing, uh, Nick Fury... Or you're working on some secret weapon, la la la, using this technology, and then Tony Stark. Such a great opportunity to like throw in a little like Ultron, just teaser huh. or Easter egg, just something small like that, See? rather than just having some big gun. Nah, nah. yeah, well, I know what, what you're saying, but you know, at that point in the movie, what I wish happened. You know how he, he infected the the virus into the shield computers? Yes. I, I was so hoping to see a moment where Tony is like, I just took over the entire ship. Ah. Sorry, guys. Like, I was like, just like baller moment. Right? Yeah. I'm like, that not only do cool. I all know you, all your secrets, but the whole ship is on my command. Yeah, that would cool. That, that would have been sick. And then the engine blows up. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. whole shit was kind of whack, that whole point. Oh. But been... I, I, um, I wanted it a little deep. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you listened to last week's, but I wanted a little more deeper yeah, stuff in it. I yeah. wanted a little more character stuff. I mean, the, the, the balance was really good in the movie for mm. a blockbuster, but Come again, on. I wanted a little more. Tony Stark tickling Bruce Banner? How deep is that? That's uh, fucking deep. Yeah. You didn't see the, uh, the scene with Naked Hulk running around either. <laughs> no, never mind. Okay. Huh? We'll continue. Well, the Avengers domestically, uh, as of this weekend, 373 million. Foreign is 627 million. So just breaking over that $1 billion. Uh, so maybe what you're remembering is it didn't is, drop off 54%, but it dropped off 46 Maybe that too. You know, I keep, sure. I keep hearing awesome <clears throat> well, it's power just, sort of the brain tra- going, $1 billion. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, that's nuts. It's crazy. To take over the world, yeah. we made a superhero movie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's all you need to do. It's apparently. crazy. And, and yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, obviously they greenlit. Uh, they came out last week and they said, oh, yeah, we're greenlighting Avengers 2. Uh, no, sh- no shit. Avengers 2, um, Iron Man 3, well, Thor no, 2, Cap 2. Well, well no, Cap, but what's, Cap actually five. what's really interesting about the announcement was that they also got two movies that they haven't announced yet. Yeah. You know, Cap, Cap 2, Iron Man 3, well, they Thor, didn't say, Thor 2. They didn't say Ant-Man, and Ant-Man's already yeah, going through, right? Yeah, Avengers 2, they're, they're, that's all given. Yeah. But what are those two other ones? Yeah. It's kind of going to be cool. Well, I know... <laughs> um, Shield would be cool. I know, uh, what's his name? Um, not Simon Pegg. Uh, Edgar, Edgar Wright yes. uh, posted some Ant-Man, yes. a little preview. little Not not a preview, he, like a little teaser <laughs> image thing that someone had drawn on his Twitter account. And a lot of people are looking for that Ant-Man movie. And I think Marvel and DC would be smart to do this too. You don't need every movie to be a $250 million movie. No. You have your $75 million movies and then your Avengers, your, your Iron Man, your big ones. But you can throw an Ant-Man movie. You could throw a S.H.I.E.L.D. movie in. It's a little bit on the cheap. Not cheap. Cheap if it's $75 million cheap. Um, that would they mean re- like studio execs would have to give up money. And they really need to do that. Well, but it keeps stuff in the audience. Yeah. You know, it keeps the audience in the theaters. But I have to give up money. If you get an if you get a movie or two every year, you keep it going, keep it going that you want that Marvel logo on the screen or DC logo on the screen once or twice a year at the minimum. And yeah. I, I well, we're going to get that anyways. I mean, well, no, Iron what are, we're not getting anything next year. Yeah, we're getting Iron Man 3, aren't we? No, not next, next year. year. Two no more year, isn't it? No, yeah, next year is a, a dud. Next year is nothing. We got a dud? There's nothing. No wow. Marvel, no... The only thing next year is Superman, so far. Wow. And for now. Star Trek 2. For, for now. But, yeah. But, I mean, for I'm comics... I'm looking forward to both of those. Yeah. So there. <laughs> for comics. I mean, they just they just finished uh, filming Star Trek 2, so... Yeah. Yes. Here. They filmed it here. Yeah. Yep. Star Trek's not comics. Star Trek's stupid science fiction. They blew it up. This isn't the science fiction conspiracy. This is the comics conspiracy. Yes, but you have Star Trek <sighs> comics in the store. Damn. You're wearing a Star Trek foiled, shirt right now. Foiled again. No, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, some Avengers. Good stuff. One thing Avengers did uh, that we didn't get a chance to talk about last week is brought in a whole fuckload of people uh, into the store for free comic day. Nice. Uh, this mm-hmm. was the tenth anniversary of free comic day. If and I'm not mistaken. And we didn't have enough Avengers to give out to them. Uh, no, you know what? And I was right. It was a reprint book. Oh, was it? So, yeah, both uh, of them were reprints, weren't they? What's that? Both the Avengers books? 
Oh, there was only one Avengers book, and it was a reprint. So every year, for those who don't know, there's a thing called Free Comic Book Day mm -hmm. that comes out. Everyone here knows what it is. Uh, but for people listening, uh, basically the big companies get together and sell comic book stores for very, very, very cheap a whole bunch of comic books for people to give out to, you know, just customers. Select books. So Select come books. Come into the book. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't grab twenty books off the shelf and be like, "We're all these free." Uh, you know, this started small. It started. And when it's the all right. Intended and come in here and throw shit over. This yeah. is mine. Yeah. <laughs> it started when the Spider Man movie. It. Uh, Joe Field up at uh, Flying Colors Comics is in local? Concord, is California, yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah. Well, so um, actually not local, but local -ish. close enough. Yeah, yeah. Local enough. I've been there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I did a panel with him. My like right after I bought the store at uh, and um, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. They uh, so this started the year the Spider Man movie came out, and it's basically been the first Wednesday, or sorry, the first Saturday of every May. Um, they've usually had big comic book movies come out around that time, and it's gone from a handful of people coming in and being like, "What's this?" to us having a line, which is awesome. Three stores down, around the wow, corner. Wow, that's awesome! Just mm -hmm. standing remotely in the store well, for six hours. Yeah, we. I mean, uh, we had a constant flow of customers. Uh, it's all until day until like six. It was all like day. Six. Oh no, no! Like it, it dipped for about five minutes around two o'clock, and then it just went right back up, and it yeah, never it, stopped it, until it, we closed. It, it, we literally had somebody in the store at all times. Wow! So, no, we literally Except, had twenty people yeah. in the store at all times. Yeah. 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 It was funny because I came just to swing by and look at some of the books, and I ended up staying and helping out. I didn't wasn't going to work. I yeah. just ended up staying almost the entire day just busy. to help out. Yeah, so, I mean, we've gone from, you know, like just I said, just a, a little thing to ordering <laughs> thousands of comics and, and just seeing hundreds and hundreds of people. Uh, and what's great, too, is um, people buy stuff as well. We used to just do, like, a thing where people just come in and kind of take whatever they wanted, but people would just grab everything, and it kind of defeats the purpose. Most stores these days are kind of doing, like, a... You know, oh, if you buy, you get a few free, and then you buy something, you can get more free. So that's what we do, and it's one of our best days of the year. I mean, so people are coming here, getting a bunch of free stuff, and if you get people into the store, they're buying something. Yeah, almost yeah. regardless. I really like what you did, though, making them pick between the five books. So you did a five book limit, didn't well, you? I I would always yeah, we did five, and then yeah. another five free with any purchase because I find when we weren't we doing the coupon. that, that's still generous though, because a lot of stores I saw did the three. <laughs> oh, like yeah. I was, I went to Gecko Books in Hawaii, and they did three. Well, yeah, I kind of well, like the limit just because it makes people think what they're getting. For sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Two, two, two often people would just grab one of everything yeah. every kid yeah. would grab 20 books and just yeah. walk out and they didn't care what they were grabbing because it's free but when you actually make people choose something they yeah. actually they look at it they, look they at don't it. just right. stack it and then just lay it down just on their dinner table throw it away yeah, yeah, right later. right see my favorite part of all this was telling people yeah those two books you just pick up are the same book oh yeah <laughs> they do a lot of flip books so oh, yeah. we would right. double stack yeah. them right. yeah yeah there were some I, I have to say though as a as a fan of comics this has been the coolest free comic book day in a long time. I mean, some of the books they put out this this year were just amazing books. I mean, Arkeana just putting that that the hardcover yeah. with that you know yeah Ar Arkea stories in the the labyrinth story was just freaking awesome and funny in that one. Yeah, you know? um, uh, Arkea Comics who do um, Mouse Guard and Labyrinth and a bunch of other comics they they put out the book to beat. It was actually like oh, a full blown hardcover. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Amazing quality. It looked like this, almost children's book size too. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's right, perfect. Right. It was. I mean, it was just great. Right. Yeah. Uh, DC had, of course, the other book to beat, which was a was full Lee on book. Justice League story. You know, art by Jim Lee and a bunch yeah. of other big creators, written by Jeff Johns. Totally ties into the books that are coming up. Yeah. Uh, the their Trinity War. Mm -hmm. Did you guys talk about Phantom Stranger at all? No, mm -hmm. no, we didn't yeah. talk about that at all last oh, week. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, they basically reintroduced uh, the Phantom Stranger, the question. And this character Pandora that's been showing up in the and books, the new see, I call him the Wizard Sh Shazam Tribunal or the whatever. The Shazams, yeah. right, right. Yeah. The original Shazams. Yeah. So they're, they're bringing a lot of new uh, magic stuff yeah. into the to the DC universe. That book, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Marvel had said they were putting out a uh, it was like a reprint book, mm -hmm. but it totally. When I got it, I'm like, this is totally a new book. And then, but it isn't. I guess it was a reprint. I just never, I guess, never read, read the it. original. <laughs> <laughs> you probably skimmed but, it. but here's the thing. It was like, it came out like a year and a half ago, and it was a lead up to an Ultron war that yep. never happened. And yep. so, 
I'm like, well, what? What's up with this book? Like, why? Is this... Oh, that's right. Do you I remember never read that? that? Yeah, you know what? I did read that, but I forgot about it. Didn't, like, Wait, yeah, never there was that never was no Ultron. Come out of the, the Heroic Age, right? I, who knows? They never did yeah, anything with it. Because Heroic Age kind of was like, oh, we're here, and then it went and didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed with Heroic Age. Well, it didn't. Uh, Heroic Age was nothing. It was just but a banner was... on a title for six months, and then it went away. And that was my annoyance. Is I kind of was hoping it would sort of return back to what would consider a standard marvel status quo rather than kind of launching into the next event well classic avengers classic spider-man stories because the whole marvel universe for a long time now seems to be at this flip of a coin of next big event and when Mm -hmm. it falls this is what takes over all these books yeah somebody's spinning a wheel going oh we Mm -hmm. got norman osborne is the big bad guy now well that that was loki is the big bad guy now that was the pitch but nothing came of it it was like that for two months and then just right back that was my big disappointment is i like when siege started it was like funny because like i talked to people about the siege event and i'd just be like siege is okay but i can't wait till it's over (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah, I think it was. I think it was New Avengers. I think it was when they reboot. Re, they did a reboot of the book, and they were traveling in time. The Maestro was in it. The whole, yeah. whole New Young Avengers, yeah, yeah, but there yeah. was never no full on war or anything like that. No, so. and, and they never. They never. That story led nowhere. Yeah, they started it, and then they just never really finished it. Huh. Well, I this I, I wasn't going to talk about this, but actually, uh, segues really good into uh, Marvel. This past week announced uh, no more Avengers. Something that's coming up at the halfway part of Avengers vs. X Men for number six. I it's just it was a, the end of Act One. It's just well, right. It's yeah. halfway through. It's the first half. There's a there's a big shot of the Earth like shaped like an I think it's shaped like an X. Yeah, and it's like you know no you know Scarlet Witch's famous no more mutants line. Well, now we're getting like a separated Marvel X Men slash Avengers Earth. Like huh. so, who knows what they're going to do with that? Oh, but no. that's. That's spinning out of we'll have the Marvel Earth. And the you know, you know go, the well, Heroes Earth Reborn. The, we'll have the Avengers Earth. That's we'll what Heroes X-Men. Reborn was. Sure, sure. You know, uh, going back to com, free comic book day. Yeah, yeah. The best yeah, I didn't mean to go off there. I just No, no. The best thing Marvel could have done is put that number one of Avengers as X-Men for free. Uh, you don't that, think so? No, well, they wouldn't have done that because that would have really pissed off retailers. Yeah, and that would have shot or, or, themselves in the foot. Or do a side story on that. I didn't need to. I sold so many copies of AVX number one. I yeah, didn't need to out. give it away for free. No, mm-hmm. I still have some, but I didn't. Yeah, need Yeah, but to you know give what I mean, though. Free. It's like you know, for Avengers being the big thing in the theaters right now. Sure. X Men being the big thing before that. You know, having an AVX book. Oh, it should have been an exclusive AVX book. Yeah, How yeah. About that? you know, maybe not, not number, number one, one, but maybe, well, you know, something else. A verse number yeah. zero. It, it's, yeah. it's like what DC does has been doing every year. They 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 had the the, the Blackest Night Zero mm-hmm. was one year, and then they had the Zero for the War of the Superman. And then mm-hmm. last year was... So what you're saying is Jeff Johns just mastermind something, and then they use free comics exactly, to launch yeah. it. But it's one of those things where DC takes it and makes that little story kind of the jumping on point for something. For yeah, I, I, I think Marvel. It's like they totally want to sell books. This. I know. Yeah. Well, the uh, I don't know if you guys got to see the DC solicitations that went I up today. To. I didn't get a chance. I did a little bit. Uh, well, they uh, are canceling Justice League International. I saw Whoa, that. Man, issue twelve. That's bullshit. Which no, I'm it's booster gold. Thank you. It's <laughs> yeah, whatever. Sucked. I'm sorry. I didn't. I mean, it was all right, yeah. but yeah, whatever. I mean, but I love JLA. That sucked. It is ending yeah, it with an annual. Written by Jeff Johns, okay. leading into the relaunch of the big Justice League event, which is going to be this Trinity War thing that's spinning okay. out of the, okay. the New 52 book. Uh-huh. So, Justice League League's still a war? A, Hopefully Mark Bagley's not. Well, no. It, it, oh, yeah. <laughs> it seems like well, – did you read – Toby, did you read the, the New 52 title, the book? Which one? The DC one. The one with the Jim Lee splash page no, and all that? I did. Because it, it basically shows – I don't think the Trinity is Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. No, the Trinity is Pandora, the question, Pen- Phantom Strike. Right. Nice. These three characters. That's, cool. That's smart. And that Jim Lee page is basically all various forms of the Justice League kind of fighting each other. You know, and they mm. even had um, like a new Green Lantern and they had yeah. a vibe and yeah, a bunch yeah, of yeah, random yeah. characters cool. in there. So it seems like we're going to kind of get maybe Justice League International versus the Justice League. You know, each one is taken over by kind of one of those three characters well, who is able a lot to. Of- there's a lot of foreboding in Justice League Dark right now, especially with like what's going on. Like if you're reading that, and that's probably the third. There's book, right? yeah, there's a lot of like stuff going on where Madame Zenidu is like something's going to happen, and it you think it's the story you're on, but I think it's going to tie into 
this Trinity thing that's going to happen. So well, they, well they've tied Madame Xanadu back to uh, Demon Knights, and mm-hmm. so there's you yeah. could tell that they've that there's a thing going through multiple books. We just haven't got to the point where we know what's happening yeah. yet. Um, and then there's that big rumor that they're going to have all the issue zeros come out in September for the, like the one year anniversary of the new 52. Nice. Kind of like a, a, a jump, a new story arc for all the new books, yeah. which I think is a great idea. Yes. Um, do, you still, do you still read Justice League? Yeah. It, yeah. Has there, ever, has there been any uh, rituals or orgies yet? <laughs> no orgies. Not <laughs> really any orgies. Although I think Constantine good thing I jumped off that book. <laughs> good thing I jumped off that book. It's so good. <laughs> Yeah, uh, free comic I thought day. it got better after the first story arc. A mm, lot better. Yeah. Well, they they change up the creative team and stuff too. So. Maybe that's why it got better after the first story yeah. arc. But uh, but but back to free comic day. Um, you know, every year is bigger than the last. I run out of almost everything this well, year. We had a, a decent I mean, overstock a from the past few years, and we yeah. got rid of most of it. Yeah, this yeah. Year. I I got rid of almost everything. So next year, you know, there is going to be you know I'll definitely have to order big because <laughs> I like to keep these books around to give away later. Yeah. Um. I was able to get some extra of the DC New 52 number ones, and we're almost out again wow. after less than a week. That's cool. So, yeah, just, yeah, just great. Just crazy. Yeah. yeah, and speaking of, uh, you know, free comic book day, and, uh, you know, Hero- WizKids <sighs> usually throws out like a little Hero Clicks piece out there. Yeah. That Thor is probably the most played piece in the last week and a half. Oh, is it? Nice. Yeah. It's a cool piece. Yeah, I, I told you the we got shafted on that because they totally changed up how the stores ordered that figure. So I only got I'm actually getting some more, but I only got like a couple of them instead of like a most, case of most them, stores. So. It was like that, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. most people it was, a, it was a really tough thing. Like it was selling on, but it's uh, expensive too. Like, yeah. well, and that's what people don't realize about Free Comic Book Day, and that's why we always tell people why it's limited and how this works. We pay for them. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I I shell out, you know couple hundred bucks to a grand every year on free comic book day plus advertisement plus paying employees so it's not like this is you pay me f- wow well, <laughs> not like this is free stuff right yeah. i mean like yeah. we pay for this diamond pays for this stuff so sure, sure, sure. the whole point of this is to get people in the store to also spend money and and hopefully a few of them come back so yeah yeah yeah, yeah i think it was great just even for the comic book industry and all i mean mm-hmm. let's hope we can keep this going mm-hmm. Wow. At this point, I mean, it is more than just a th- uh, an event. I mean, yeah, it is, I mean, no, it is I, a I, tradition I hope, at this I, point. I hope it yeah. – I mean, as I keep it going, like the crowd will go bigger, and I hope it's well, going to well, maybe go into a weekend event rather than a, a day event. Well, there's a couple things. So first, okay, um, yeah. Wait, <laughs> they're working on a, uh, a free comic book Halloween. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is something that's been kind of – they have uh-huh. these they have these Halloween books that the mm-hmm. Diamond gives out, but there's never really been a big push for them. I guess they're actually kind of pushing for it this smart. year. That's smart. Uh, tr- again, you know, six months later, you're trying something a little bit different, something oh, a little I bit of a different crowd. Old. Everybody has to dress up, or you can't get a free comic book. Just but the awareness of that brand out there more. Well, it's not just that. And now this is for you two guys, maybe a little bit of Brock, not me and Charlie. Who are you pointing to? You and uh, you and Omar. Ah. So a bunch of people were throwing around this idea, and I know a few stores that did it, and they're going to try to push it to be an official thing. Not, Not free comic book day, free comic book night. Yes! So the basic... Yes! It is a, it, oh, my God! They're basically, oh, we're planning. Big, yeah. yo, we're you already got planned. All right, we're going to do this. It is, it is basically right yeah. right there. Yeah. It is basically the night of free comic book yes. day. Uh, it is hold, like, it is pushed as a 21-plus event yes. for stores to have parties. It is pushed to have. Um, they, I know they want to talk to like, they, they, yeah, as they as they tap the beer. The the push is to get like you focus away from the kids' books to focus on books like Preacher and Cross yes! and and you know that's the adult boys, stuff. The boys, the boys, exactly. Well, because I mean, can we I know, put a poster up that's like not right well, for, I know that for adults public. only? <laughs> adults only. I know that. That's the that's the push is that it's for the mature reader stuff. Well, that's and the, that, thing is, is we the dog. Just, we have to have a dog the, the, poster. There's a huge from other the boys. The, there's a huge other crowd. We don't really not, get that stuff though, and it's available. They, there is some adult stuff for free comic book day. Uh, m- m- very little, v- not really, and it's not anything that's stocked. But uh, this if, is brilliant. Though. If Avatar, you got, like the kids stay, and then you got right. the more mature day. Right. I mean, there's plenty of dude. We really can, good. There's books. some local suicide girls we can get in this moment. Yes, we gotta do suicide that. Gotta, <laughs> yeah, boy. You, you know, <laughs> some of your friends that come in here. If, if if DC was like, hey, you know, we're gonna ship everyone, you know, a hundred free copies of Preacher Number One, like those those giveaway books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that, like even after, all, after Watchmen books. I mean, all, yeah. all their their very good stuff, like right, Why the right. Last Man, or right. Hunger Bullets. Someone just let's yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and and Marvel will push like Powers and Criminal and Incognito and books like that. You know, and and then you know Avatar obviously has you know Crossed and Lady please, Death and all please, that stuff. Let's make this. Can we make it happen even without them? I love. Well, <laughs> it's, it's basically just a, a few guys in the East Coast did this, and yeah. um, and I was like, dude, that is a genius idea. 
I'm jumping in next year, uh-huh. official or not. We're yeah, doing this. let's do it. So nice. let's do it. I think we should just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we having a DJ? So it, well, I mean, that's the push. It's it's you know it's for a very different crowd, but, I'll bring but a DJ in. there's the crowd. Yeah, so yeah let's, do it. let's do it. Let's do it. I think oh dear God, stuff. no! Then everyone will leave. <clears throat> Yeah. Hey man, I bust up my '80s tunes. Everyone ah, do the robot. Yeah, no, right. you, you do that every day, right? You play them every day. You play that every day. It's no. t- time for a change. A big change, huh? For one night only. Okay. Because then you could go back to your '80s. <laughs> for stuff. one night only, we get like <laughs> pop music and stuff that would bring people in. Yeah. No, 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 no one wants that. Either. No. Yeah, I don't More think like people some come here for the yes! Tribe Called sure. Quest. You know, ah, Souls of Mischief. Yeah. Some hieroglyphics. I know. Let's hear it. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. We can have dancers. I think that's it. I think the the, 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 the Halloween... Dude. I think the Halloween day will be... Some go-go dancers. Toby's already... Already getting ready. So he's he's already envisioning the store. Where we're we're putting the stripper pole, where we're... It's gonna be awesome. Putting the strobe light, it's the disco ball, awesome. the private room in the back. We ha- we're gonna ha- yeah, uh, and we have to have a, a fog machine. VIP. <laughs> we have no, no. We have to Jim, have a fo- right this way. fog machine. We have a fog machine just uh, for some some mooding. More couches. <sighs> oh, it's gonna be awesome. Toby's ready. Dancers on just the just so books. you know, there's no sex in the in the <laughs> comic book about, room. No. It's all about the visuals. <laughs> so, it, is, yeah. it is a comic book store. It's all about the visuals. Well, let's talk about some visuals. Yes. Not too much comic book news going on in the last few weeks, except for Avengers. Yes. Uh, but there was another, some stuff we've been catching up on that yes. I know we've been wanting to talk about. Yes. And some Young Justice. Yes. Yeah. Sorry to keep you Young out of Justice the conversation. Young Justice Invasion. Yet, bro. Oh, it's freaking awesome. Right. So. My little team is on there together, finally. You guys yeah. may yes. know that I'm a big fan of a character named Adam Strange. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, he's okay in this. Yeah. It's not really Adam Strange. It's it's a variation. It's it, it's close enough. He's I guess. cool. He has a little hoodie. He's okay. He's, you know, he's okay. Hoodie. Modernized. You know. Well, yeah, he's okay. It's like it's, it's one <laughs> thing about the show, Ryan. People change. People sure, grow. Yeah. People. So you know, if for some odd reason, we're going to get he's another a season. Emo still, I, I could see why you like him. Yeah, no, no. This, this version of Adam Strange, I'm okay with. Uh, uh, but but he I'm, doesn't like the hoodie. Ryan doesn't want no, hoodies. Doesn't like no, hoodies. no. I'm, I'm not. No, it's it's. Adam Strange, the character for people to know, is like your typical classic 50s science fiction jetpack and ray gun guy. Yeah, yeah. And for total Buck Roger style. And they sort of changed it in this a little bit. Um, yeah. they, they Donnie Darko did? They, they, well, no. I mean, they, they, <laughs> he's still the same. He still he ends like up on Ron. He, he still has uh, Alana and, and, and sort of Sardoff, is that the guy's name? The, the father. And it's still, it's still similar, but, but it's a little bit different. It's just, I, I don't like the design. I like the, I like the classic costume so yeah. much. This, this is not really a costume that he's wearing. It's just sort no. of like clothes. But, but that, that's totally aside the point. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, now that yeah, I'm t- caught up with Young Justice, this most recent episode, and yeah, um, it's been cool. We, we found cool. a, a, the big traitor Beyond. in the group. Ah. Yeah. Tara? Uh, no. no. What? No. I just had to throw a guess uh, What the hell? Uh, Wonder Girl's been getting a lot of love. Yeah. Yeah. She's been in sure, a lot man. of it. I love my little Batman design. team is together. Oh, oh that's so yeah. sick <laughs> and so smart. Why? Why couldn't they do that? Dude, I, it's awesome. Having Nightwing, Robin, and Batgirl in that's it all incredible. at the same time. And the way yeah. they work together is just like, they don't even talk. Yeah, yeah, They just yeah. point. Some like, they just, boom, shit, boom, it's boom. just happening. They all jump in. They all jump out. It's yeah. like there's no no spoken word. Like yeah. They, they, yeah. they play the back characters off perfectly in uh-huh. it. It's freaking awesome. Well, I think in general, the this past episode was all about sort of the Paired families and that kind of stuff, and right. seeing them work together, and oh, that yeah, the, the that Wonder, was the one Wonder of Girl, those Wonder Woman thing was awesome yeah. too. And that for me was like, I watched the episode, immediately called Toby. Toby again said, "Want to watch it again? I'll come over right now." Yeah, I'm I like said, "I can't write bike. this second, but I'll be home again." In I love like you guys. That's awesome. Yeah, I was waiting in front of his house like a little puppy dog. Aww. You ready? You ready? <laughs> We're watching it now, right <laughs> now. <laughs> now, does he call you little brother now? <laughs> Not yet, but okay. he pets me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm worried. Does anyone know? Is this going to just go like a 13 episode, 26 episode? Do we have a episode I, count yet? Because this feels mini series. It doesn't feel well, like they, they did announce that this this the season they having it as a they changed it's more like a one story for the whole season thing, which makes me worried that it's going to be like eight episodes and done. 
sort of thing. Yeah, I I, I don't remember at all whether or not I've read an episode count, other than the fact that I didn't read anything that said it's. Typically, when they cut the number of episodes in the season, I see that in the announcement of okay, get picked up for a second season, but only this many episodes, and I don't remember any announcements like that. Well, let's just hope they can actually finish it. No matter, it doesn't matter if they cancel it. It doesn't matter if what they're going to do to it. Just please, please, they will finish finish it. it. They will. It seems pretty fleshed out. I mean. Yeah. Two Black Mantas. That was so Yeah, raw. your yeah. boy is finally back. God, yeah. Oh, I was cool. like, oh, damn. Yeah. It you was didn't funny tell because... me. It was like so Star Wars-esque. No, you know? no. You didn't I tell have... me. No, I, I knew that the minute Black Mantas showed up, I was like, that's Calder. That's Calder. He's back. Yeah. Well, because he, he busted out his powers. I'm like, oh, damn. Really? Yeah. Well, not only that. Get I mean, him, it, was, it was Well, known. the voice was not a... Yeah. They didn't, didn't disguise it. the voice, really. They just... Yeah. Plus, it's yeah. known that he is the son of the Black Manta. That's, sure. That's, yeah, we knew that kind of from before. I wonder but, if they're going to bring him back in that way in the comics. Well... Because, I mean, obviously, well, we haven't how, seen him yet, either. Yeah. But the, the the cool thing about the show, though, I kind of wonder what would have happened if uh, <coughs> Superboy didn't interject a conversation. Because you know how how you walked mm-hmm. away and the Nightwing just kind of shows up and talks to him normally? Yeah. yeah. I would have wa- really wanted to see if, like, you know, if Superboy didn't come into that. Yeah. Would have had a good conversation. What would have happened there? Because mm-hmm. obviously, Calder still respects Nightwing in some way. Somehow. Well, well, I mean, obviously, at this point, we're well past spoiler points. Um, so, <laughs> oh, oh, so, oops, sorry, guys. Uh, so spoiler. I, so, Aqu- Aqualad, the 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 tenth. I don't know which version this is. I mean, Caldor Aqualad Cal- from the first yeah. one. I mean, he's he's a bad guy now, yeah. and working with Black Manta. Who? I mean, this is accurate to the comics. I mean, he's just, well, not that he's a bad guy, but yeah. but that Aqualad or that on um, Black Manta's his dad. But the um, way that he's mad made actually a lot of sense. He's like mad at Aquaman for well, not telling him. Well, and he, they said that um, Tora died, yeah, right? Yeah, who's yeah. his? Who's it's one of the? Aqu- who's like one of the Aqua Girls from the comics? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I'm looking here on TV.com. Um, they have episode uh, four, five. Uh, five is on the 28th. Six is called Bloodlines, and they list nothing past that. So yeah, I'm, but TV.com is horrible about getting... Oh, sure. I, but um, what I'm saying yeah. is this is... Uh, TV.com will usually have... I've seen pretty good future lists on, on here when they have it, it available. So we may get six and then a break, and then they'll come back. So, so it might be a 12, 12 <clears throat> episode series. Yeah, because first one was 26, 26 episodes. So I'd love... I mean, I... I if they can keep this up the whole time, but I yeah. will scour the internet for this information yeah. and tweet it as soon as I know it. Yeah, Sweet. yeah, yeah. I, I, man, just, I just don't know, so I, I really hope they keep it going. Um, but I know Charlie's been keeping up with Green Lantern oh, as yeah. well. Green uh, Lantern, yeah. Watching yeah. Green oh, Lantern? big time! Yeah, no, I love it. It's gotten so much better. Yeah, yeah, it has. It really has. The writing, and you know what, Earth's Mightiest Heroes too. Um, I, I still can't do Amazing or Ultimate Spidey, but uh, yeah. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, they're really setting it up again for a whole season length uh, plot uh, with the Skrulls, and it looks like a Secret Invasion kind of plot. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. you know, in Green Lantern, they've been doing stuff. Uh, they brought in the um, the Blue Star, Lantern, the Blue Lantern. They brought in Star Sapphires. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, they really do a really good yeah. job with Carol Ferris. Uh, oh, they brought in someone else watch. too. <clears throat> Who else they bring in? The Hog People. Oh, well, yeah, the, the Thanagarians. Yeah. That yeah. was fun. Yeah. That was a cool Thanagarian episode. But, criminals. but those guys were dicks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's cool seeing them. There, yeah, that was a good yeah. episode, though. Yeah. But yeah, I really want to see what else they do. But no, I, and then Green Lantern uh, two. I really was not digging it at first. That, uh-huh. that pilot episode was just I, the animation. I think really soured me on it. But I. I'm 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 fully sold now. I, yeah. I really do like yeah. it. They're uh, definitely writing for multi uh, multi generations because like yeah. you can see Queen Agapa, she's like a total whore. She's like just like walking around like shaking her ass and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just me? Is that just me? <laughs> I, don't know, I haven't seen it yet. I only, I only saw the hawk people. Oh, sorry, because, bro. <laughs> because Charlie was fast forwarding through it for me. Well, I really like yeah, what they Toby do. Toby comes with, over, so I have to show him the shorts. Yeah, I really <laughs> like what they do with um I uh. Uh, oh, yeah. she, the, that the, was the computer. She's really cool. Yeah. She's a um, great character. And and Razor, the Red Lantern guy, he's really cool too. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think they've done a really good job of kind of, kind of introducing Green Lantern, uh, bit by bit. You know, mm-hmm. slowly mm-hmm. doing it and not going totally overboard. You can get a few different Lantern colors in there, but even when they introduce Sandwalker, I mean, he doesn't mm-hmm. have a blue ring. He's just yeah. Sandwalker. Yeah. He's just a guy. So. I mean, you know where he's going, but and he's so likable too. Yeah. Even without the ring, like oh, he's like, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, this he is was great. great. Oh, 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 going I back was, to guns. Yeah, sorry. I is new to the show, right? That's yeah, not based on any. Yeah, and and Razor is not. I mean, he's not in the yeah. comics or anything. Those are like right? original, you yeah. know, writer creations yeah. or ideas. Mm. Them, um, which is which great. Stems, I mean, yeah, some or, of yeah. <laughs> 
some of my favorite characters have definitely come out of some of these different animated series. Oh, look at Harley Quinn. You know, X-23? Yeah. Textbook, X-23 and Harley Quinn, just yeah. textbook definitions of you know, the great characters that have made transition over. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, then you get your morphs, which is like, well, you know, it happens. Uh-huh. Remember Morph? Yes, yeah. yes, I do. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the X-Men animated... X Men animated Rings show, the bell, but yeah. yeah. Okay. No, going really back to I uh, remember real fast to uh, Young Justice, really fast. Beast Boy is that his origin? Um, no, no, that's not. No, I kind of liked his origin though in this version, but I, I was like, yeah, it didn't feel right. It's, that, oh, well, yeah, I, there's no link between him and the Martians. Yeah, it's normally. similar. If I if I'm remembering correctly, Beast Boy's origin was that he gets like a blood transfusion. And that's how he turns into Beast Boy. Yeah, but it's just not from. But it's a not, that may be like the Jeff Johns like redo that. May not be the original version, or maybe that is the original, and I, and not I think the redo. It's cool but that, it's not the Martian thing. Oh, is it not? Okay, but I think no, it's no. cool in the storyline that yeah, you know sure. it was like we actually saw Beast Boy before. We yeah. just didn't know. And his oh, mom, yeah. Rita. I mean, that's Elastigirl from the the Doom Patrol. Rita oh, Farr. Huh. yeah. Huh. Never got that yeah. connection. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's dope. That's, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was never really much of a Doom doing Patrol a really, guy. really yeah. good job by like, connecting the dots and stuff. Everyone in that show is is someone that they've you know. There's no throwaway characters in there. Well, it's funny when I watch. Watched it when they were going through a hall of justice. So I like saw a kid with a, a, a African American kid with a white kid. I was like, Charlie, is that Static Shock? Did they do a little cameo? But probably not. Mm, could it just be a random kid? Oh, yeah. just like in the background. Yeah, yeah. But it could have been just some random kid. I kind of look at it just as a. I don't think they would bother with just a cameo. They can use Static Shock. Yeah. 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 Well, they brought an icon, which is cool. Yeah. Icon and um. Oh, what's I- her name? I don't know I don't, why I got so excited when they brought an icon, but I did. Icon's <laughs> cool, but her, his sidekick's annoying. Well, <laughs> maybe just the first the first episode I was, she was oh, in. Oh, when she just showed out out of the blue? She was really annoying. She in wasn't that ghetto enough, though. <laughs> she needs to be more street. I don't know. Like, She's did, like, what? Yeah, sucker. Like, dude, they definitely was, had to. They, they should have done something with that. Yeah, it was, but then she's fine now. But that first episode, she yeah. was just kind she's of like. She's barely in it now. Yeah, she's <laughs> totally whitewashed now. It sucks. Uh, I don't know. The I want her Compton I mean, style. Uh, they're really balancing the characters really well now. Compton <laughs> style? That's like eight dudes in a bed. Oh, oh shit. No. I don't know about all that kind of stuff. Uh, no, I'm no, just no, talking about... Yeah, yeah. They're, they're balancing the characters really well in the show because it's an ensemble show, and there's oh, yeah. a lot of freaking characters that balance for sure, in that show. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And yeah. It's like far worse than they did in Yeah, like every week, series. the last yeah. two episodes felt like, like different, like, almost different stories. It feels like there's stories. 10 characters well, going well, at the same time. Stories. That was one thing that surprised me a little bit is I expected the Rand stuff to go on longer. Yeah. I really thought that was going to be sort of a separate story arc throughout well, the season that they brought back. back together. So that surprised me a little. Yeah. Well, what's Not in a bad way. Just what well, I, if, the, if it's only like eight episodes long, then there might be a reason why they only spend an episode on it. Well, if you, uh, if you listen, when they, when they beam into either the Watchtower or into the, um, into the cave or whatever, it always says there – Name and ID yeah. and their member yeah. number, yeah. and I think, I think Beast Boy is like number like twenty eight or something like that. Like you, so there's, a, there's an there's a load big of, jump. Yeah, there's a huge amount of characters that are mm. in the show. I mean, and they just bring in like Bumblebee and like don't even introduce her. Like uh-huh. she's not even. They don't yeah. even like yeah. there's all these that's, characters. That's sweet. That's that's just that in too. it. Yeah, and they just don't even like whatever. It's, it's more better. It's you far want to know it. about this character? Go to your local comic shop. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Sure. They do it far better than the FF <laughs> cartoon did. Remember the nineties FF cartoon, which. Things will happen, and you look in the background, there'll be like Spider Man swinging by, or Daredevil yeah. is like doing something on the roof. The no- yeah, just cameos. C- can, I, yeah. can I say? So, since I've been, I've been recovering my wisdom teeth, and, and, and I've been a little sick last week, um, and a little bit on an adventure's high since we're talking cartoons, I started to watch the, I believe, 1994 Iron Man cartoon uh-huh. featuring mm-hmm. Force Works, right? Yeah. Which. Um, with, with the uh, hot tub scene where he jiggles his butt, I, yeah. I showed you to this. Totally, yeah. I, I, sh- I linked you to this. So I've watched like the first three or four episodes now. <laughs> this, like, this wasn't made like in the seventies when animation was kind of shitty. No, this was made like 80s, in the. 90s, this is like 90s, mid right? mid nineties yeah. mm-hmm. when animation was actually like getting up there. Right. Yeah. This show is the most fucking whack job I've ever seen in my wow. life. Wow, he's the word wow. So it's Serious. it's it's Iron Man, uh, Scarlet Witch. Spider Woman, Hawkeye, um, and who else is in it? Um, Sentry, but not the Sentry. Like the, <laughs> it's this random character named huh? Sentry who looks like some sort of like he looks like uh, like a like a Silver Surfer bad guy or something okay. like that. Like with this white hair and this giant axe. It's like who the hell is this character? 
Jim seems like he knows who, he's talk- who I'm talking about. Yeah. I have no idea who this character is. He was a more to the month than the night, basically. Yeah, he's this <laughs> random character that maybe made one appearance outside this cartoon. And the anime, and like, there's no introduction of any of the characters. Nope. And and they just like they they have to take the you know like the like the Ming the Merciless style of uh, of uh, what's his face. Um, what the hell is the guy's name? Uh, uh, the, the Mandarin. Mandarin. Yeah. Right? He's totally like, you know, Fu Chinese Manchu. man, yeah, Fu Manchu yeah. style, and it's like terrible. And they make him all green and like a monster, and say, <laughs> just so it's not really offensive. Yeah, it's so but, racist. But the, but, the, but the cartoon is the most wacky thing you'll ever see in your life. It is, I have no recollection of it being this just out there and with no explanation of anything. I highly recommend going on YouTube, finding. The first uh, episode, because they're all you on can YouTube. Find them on Netflix, also. Well, you you don't want this on your Netflix <laughs> history. Just go on YouTube. <laughs> you they're all like, they're all on YouTube. It's, it's you can very, have it in it's your very internet much in your browser. Taste, Omar. I, I, I know no, it link- is very much in your taste. Yeah. Oh, it is. No, it is. I know. I linked this to Toby. There yeah. is a scene. I was watching it work. Oh, what the fuck did you show me, Ryan? <laughs> There's a scene where it's like Tony Stark is getting raped in a hot tub by his like physical trainer. And it's like the weird, like how is this ever get past any form of? Yes, this in is the hot the, tub they were going back and forth, back and forth. It's oh this my! Cra- God. And I'm watching this like kind of doped up, and I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> so wait a second, you're saying you have to be doped up to watch this? No, I and then I rewatched it sober, and oh, I'm like, geez. what am I watching? <laughs> hey, come on, dude, Iron Man. You gotta expect a little bit dude, of jiggling. He's got, the, he's got the porn stash yeah. and everything. Yeah. It's, it's, dude, you have to expect and the like hot tub. Predator did, did, did two did you, opening were, sequence. Were, 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 do you? Are you sure you didn't watch the other one? You fought. You watched. Yeah, the maybe you. Maybe one? you were watching no. the Japanese yeah, yeah, anime yeah. version of Iron Man where you see like the the boobs. They're like kind of plump and they're like. Uh, they no, twinkle. no. This like, is this is the, the like. I, or, I, or you watch the live action, not the movie yeah. version. Go go about go about three minutes past the the random introduction of all these villains. Get to the part with Iron. Man in the hot tub. It's the funniest thing you'll ever see. It's you. You. You never talk about sex when it's in real life, but the second it's on a cartoon, because you're this on is, it. Like this is weird, dude, bro. It's very weird. Brock, it's called otaku. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's I'm, okay in toy and cartoon version. I'm not saying this but is not good in real life. I'm saying it's terrible. I'm saying this is the strangest <laughs> thing you'll ever see. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the rules. <laughs> I thought we were on the comic conspiracy. And, 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 and the dialogue, the conspiracy. dialogue is really bad too. Oh, it's the, like, oh, Tony, what are more you doing? Cartoons with superheroes. <laughs> Well, what's what's so funny about the show too? Like I said, there is no explanation of who any character is. Yeah, yeah I, like I, people yeah. just show up while they're in the hot tub. Uh, well, hot tub. Yeah, they're standing there, and suddenly <laughs> Spider Woman walks by. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> what is Spider Woman doing here? And for anyone watching, who the hell is Spider Woman? Because they don't wait, know who this wait is. Wait a second. Does this this might explain Gen Thirteen? And uh, uh, what's his, um, Scarlet Witch has like that really bad '90s. Like she doesn't yeah. even have the cape. It's basically like a bikini mm-hmm. with like the short like dyke haircut that she had for five seconds. Bizarre, bizarre show. Highly recommend. The thing it. that <laughs> really really me now, out right? the most about that, that show yeah. is it's almost got the reverse of what I typically associate shows like that with. As in. <gasps> It's not like the cast ballooned in season two. In fact, it went from a very big cast to season two, kind of condensed down to just Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. They got rid of Force Works, I believe, yeah. in the second season, right? Wow. Yeah. Well, it was well selling so toys. It, it kind of did yeah. the reverse. Well, and and, and, and you, I love the introduction, at least the second season, I remember for sure, with him hammering the hammer and the different version of Iron Man comes up behind him. Oh, it does I have love that. It does have the classic, um, when he puts on the Iron Man costume, it goes into the worst early 90s season. CG cutscene you've ever seen in your life, <laughs> and then like it's, it's like you know it looks like a bad PS1 game where it's all rotating around him, and nice. then it gets back to the cartoon. Now, so. wasn't the FF like that too? The yep. the, the two yep. seasons were really different. The yep. first half was really early shit cartoon, yeah, and the second half was actually really well animated. It was well, like well, nine and day almost. Well, you had you know the um, the X Men cartoon, which which the animation's a little shoddy, but the story was was mm. amazing, and they no, they, they I, I really enjoyed those. They, when they were out. Yeah, they yeah. transferred the cartoon. Or the comic yeah. so well yeah. to the to the cartoon, yeah. the future past, and everything. And, and Spider Man again, shoddy animation, but they stuck so close to the comic stories, and they crammed so much into that into yes. that show. FF Avengers, the Hulk show, Silver Surfer was good. I like Silver Surfer. 
uh, pretty much unequivocally. I, I really like the Silver Surfer cartoon. I thought that was a really good job. But then it ends on a cliffhanger. But all the rest of those shows are just like, well, man, you guys made this for a dollar. Like, it's a back alley or <laughs> I'd something. Buy that for a dollar. <laughs> this is just <laughs> the cheapest crap I've ever seen. But it's like all bad well, Fox Kids garbage animation yeah. stuff I, I anyway. Just, so. Like, yes, I know for sure on the Avengers cartoon actually aired at a decent time slot and stuff. But but that was if, the – the Avengers was like the future one, right? That was yeah. later. Yeah, that oh, was that later. Was one. The Ant-Man one? Yeah. But I guess like my recollection is you had the Saturday morning big push with like Spider-Man and Wolverine. And I swear the Hulk and the Iron Man were like on, on Sunday at like 11 a.m. or something yeah. weird like that. They never really had a – they played it on the day when the good times when the lot. kids yeah. weren't going to church. Yeah, yeah. They, they basically Only the roofians just, would watch it. Yes, they they were playing it for people like me who are sitting at home. Going, I need to find a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they were <laughs> rough. Because you have to get drunk before you or or get your tooth pulled out and be on some drugs. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you have to watch rough. it on drugs or something, and then watch it sober again. This is bad because I own all of those on DVD. <laughs> it makes me wonder what I did. Oh, you gotta watch it. It's it's, it's glorious. Yeah, I'm, I'm still I, I don't think I tried the FF and DVD. I just pulled it out. <laughs> I'm still going through them, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll make I, it I, eventually. I bought the Iron Man on DVD back when they put that out because of the Iron Man 2, I think, actually. And my kids love it. Yeah. My kids watch both seasons of that and yeah, I mean, I'm sure it was fine when I was, yeah. you know, if you're 10 years old or 8 years old or something. It's but, fine that kids can watch hot, hot tub porn? But, but that's what, it takes <laughs> on a whole new meaning when you're an adult, <clears throat> as, yeah. as most cartoons do. Speaking of hot tub porn, and not to retract, but connecting back to our, one of our original topics of, uh, what is it, studio audiences. You know what would be great, studio audience, and I would be there at every fucking episode? Game of Thrones. Dude, just imagine, dude, like a Dolph Rocky scene, and you'd just, <laughs> you'd just be like, you can almost like... Get some like are you okay? Rocky Omar, we get a we get a have a Game of Thrones podcast. We should new, let's do new, it. Just, you guys see that, that last Disney, episode was Disney, ridiculous. Doesn't he find the Game of Thrones <laughs> picture that's on yeah. the group? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah new episode I'm down with badass. that. Let's do it. We all watch it. I think. No, what happened no, on the last episode? Watch it still. I'm behind. But Damn, oh, you're yeah. first, if we're gonna start, if we're gonna start a podcast on that, I guess I will catch up. Jesus, yeah, well, I have am to I even on the comic it. conspiracy anymore? Yeah, it's yeah. like the Christian no, I have conspiracy, to watch it which is not gonna become, No, no. It's like, then we're gonna have the throne conspiracy, <laughs> and you're holding your hand up like you're some weird ass Hitler. He's fucking Hitler. <laughs> <I'm> Hitler. <laughs> ah. That 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 is that is. I'm telling everyone to stop over talking because the audience cannot hear anything except for you people screaming. So thank you. That's a show of a good sign. Uh, yes. No, I still have to watch it. My um, the Blu-ray set I bought. The first disc doesn't Please, work. Hurry up. Watch it, it. No, the first disc doesn't work. Oh really? That's yeah. You didn't take it back. I did, and it didn't work again. So it's obviously my player, and it worked at Charlie's place. Yeah. So I'll have to go watch it at Charlie's place. But he has like three kids, so it'd be kind of weird to watch it at his place. You can watch it at my place. I got them all. Oh, okay. I, do, I, I just need just to watch show up at ten o'clock at night, like you have time and time again. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, stay over till five. <laughs> Well, since we're no longer, since comic books have uh, completely now exited the equation, I think it's time to wrap this episode up. Oh, uh, yeah. Did, there's a Game of Thrones guys, comic. We didn't no, even no, talk the news. Is, what did you guys think no news. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, there was. No, nah, that's not news. Yes, there is. Earth 2. Marvel. Earth 2 and, uh, Going digital? Through Comicsology? World's Finest? Oh, yeah. I can talk to that at the end. Hmm? World two, Earth 2, World's Finest, the next, the next wave of the new 52 books. They were good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys talked They're about really that? really good. No, no, not really. Oh, okay. Cool. We can talk about that later. Yeah, we'll talk about that next time. Um, as me another week to read as up. There you go. Brock was was mentioning, um, there was something. Uh, that's, that's not news. That's news. news. That's news. that's, that's finally that's Jesus. end of the podcast uh, announcement for people that were interested. Um, people know that we talk Brock about is time. pregnant. People yeah. know that we do Shit. the what a dick. Uh, digital <laughs> comic store through Comicology here. <laughs> digital dot comics conspiracy dot biz. Uh, one of the things most people have been asking uh, about is Marvel. When is Marvel going to allow stores to sell their comics digitally? You can get them already uh, through Comicology, but now, hooray, now we can sell you Marvel digital comics. Woo-hoo. So uh, jump on there, uh, digital.comicsconspiracy.biz. You can go through and buy all, all your Marvel comics on there, so when they have their big sales, I think they're having an ultimate sale today, but that'll be over by the time it's um, – um, they had a big Avenger sale over this past weekend. Yeah. Cool. Which so. I still don't understand the connection to Mother's Day. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Any day is a well, day you know for a moms sale. Like Tony Stark, I have no so. problem with them having <laughs> oh, an Avengers yeah, sale. I have a problem with them <laughs> doing a big Mother's Day sale 
for Avengers because they were selling it as a Mother's Day sale. You play <laughs> you you like still Tony you still get emails from DC Universe online. I'm assuming Charlie, yes. right? Every day that is any form of some form of a holiday of any kind for any race in any species on Earth, they send out a. It's 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 Swahili Day Black sale. Day. Yeah. Sure, it's like well, who ca- who cares? We're having a sale because it's it's another day. We're having a sale. It's the same thing. Comicology is like nine sales a week. So awesome. there you go. Yeah. That's what I tell to Lori when we go to Victoria's Secret. I'm like, come on, babe, don't fall for those sales. There's sales every day. Yeah, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, the only one to go to is the semi-annual. So if you go, <laughs> so if you go to digital.comicsuperior.biz you can now buy your Marvel and DC basically everything but Dark Horse and yeah. a couple indie books um, I think Dark Horse is having, has problems with licensing hope, I think that might be why they can't it's possible I don't know well, hopefully Dark Horse will join that soon yeah I mean they're mostly all movie shit so. you can also go to www.geekbox.net which uh, has this episode and all their other episodes uh, including the Geekbox uh, We Are the Comic Conspiracy it has the comedy button and it has Good Job Brain and it also, uh, on the main, on the forum, which is forums at geekbox.net, you can listen to All Talk, which is the community forum podcast, which is a lot of fun. So people should go check that out. Uh, Brock's blog, mm-hmm. you can go visit him, uh, conspiratorbrock.com. You've been a little slacking. you got to get some posts up there. I got a couple of posts up. I've you, been, you've been, I've been, you've been moving. You've been busy. I've been moving and busy, uh, and I, I mean, getting. We haven't done random picks, and I, yeah. I've been getting my pull list, and the pull list has now increased because Marvel is yeah. actually yeah. allowing me to do deep links. So, yeah. Omar, you've been posting anything on comics and decline. Oh yes. Oh, you're back. Yes, you were, were slacking back. again. Yeah, I was fighting. I was fighting fires, and you yeah. Know. Yeah, I was in Hawaii. The, so. the the Ryan fire has followed Omar. <sighs> yes. Yeah. That, well, fortunately, not didn't affect him. Yeah. Well, but I, it's funny because when I saw it, I called him. He's like, "Dude, you've been hanging out with Ryan too much. It's, <laughs> it's the Ryan curse is starting to follow you, man." Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I I literally ran out of my car, and there was a big group of people, and people were crying about their home burning down. I'm like, my hero clicks. <laughs> We were talking before you came here. We thought they were going to melt into a one giant pog. Yeah, like you know those old school pogs from the nineties. <laughs> you, you have you to can, figure out by you can just the go to colors. Any tournament and slam those are fighting yeah. words. Yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta figure out by the color who I care. This is like a cyclops. I'll yeah, fight yeah. my cyclops <sighs> against. <That's> funny. <laughs> and Charlie has the infinite long box going. Yep. Yep. I do. All right. <laughs> now, uh, Where have you guys been? You guys have been clicking with us. Huh? Is it busy? Yeah. I think it was just one week, right? No, yeah, you just so I came. You mean well, you, you, you weren't you know, here? Came down, no, and then the <sighs> next time Stephen and I came down. Okay, because yeah. you need to get an infinity, infinity gauntlet gem. The yeah, space gem yeah. is fucking awesome. Yeah, I came in yeah. too. Yeah, and just get it in the back. I, I, I kicked some butt. Please, I did. We're gonna get Are you serious? On. Yeah. When I wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? I don't, don't listen. Fourth down. You don't know, listen to this Omar's guy. Not here. So is this is this stuff. podcast gonna spawn like five more? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. If you want to follow us all on Twitter, we're all on there. It's uh, Brock Sager Comics is the kind for Omar down there. Uh, Insanity and Chaos. That's Charlie. As well as I think it's just Infinite Longbox, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Toby's Toby XI. I'm Ryan Higgins. Ryan. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Send us some email. The Comic Conspiracy at Geekbox.net. Mm-hmm. We love to read email. Oh, hey, iTunes reviews. We got a shitload of iTunes reviews. Yeah, I've been not, some. I've been slacking on reading these. Did you pick a good one? Yeah, yeah. I got a bunch of them here. I'm going to read Sweet. them. Sweet. I like you. Uh, send, oh, give yeah, us some awesome shirt? five star reviews oh, on oh, iTunes. Yeah. Yeah. Give us some awesome five star reviews on iTunes, and I read them here. Every like, time I go, yeah. I buy like five, six shirts of them. Right? Shh, you buy five, five or six shirts on five? iTunes? No, no, no. Uh, like uh, J.R. Uh, Job says, I don't read comics. This podcast podcast makes me wish I did. You should read comics yes. because Job. you're listening to this podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aqua Spider says, fantastic insight. Hey, guys, I've really, uh, I've really enjoyed the podcast the last 55 episodes. As much as you may not have enjoyed your 423 conversation, <laughs> which was the, uh, the great um, uh, – conversation of uh, creator rights part two mm-hmm. it was very compelling brock you are wrong keep up all the comic talk <laughs> go stanford <laughs> uh, um yeah uh next one agent otaku one of my favorite podcasts uh big long thing here it says <laughs> uh, but basically here, saying hey you know uh yeah comics are awesome thanks guys keep it going so um yeah Thank you, uh, thank you, Agent Otaki. Or a big long review here. So we, we thank everyone for the reviews. 104. We're at four and a half stars. Get that what, up to what? five. It's a lot of reviews. So. We Come got on. that nice one from that guy. And we have shitty customer service. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was like a year ago. No, it was November. It was last year. Ow. The shitty customer service? 
Yeah, it must have been the day uh, Brock was here. So, oh. yeah, yeah. Or it must have been the day when I was playing my music. <laughs> Too it? much rap. That please, lady was in. Yeah, when he, can you please turn that music down? Can you guys be quiet? <sighs> we're not even talking. Can you guys be quiet? All right. Yeah, you, re- you responded and you're too loud. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll catch everyone next week. Uh, have a good week. And uh, yeah, hopefully some comic news next week. It's been a quiet, quiet comics. But uh, hey, con-, con season's coming up. We'll do some picks next week. We'll yeah, we'll see some picks. Scarlet's yeah, fire. it's been a while since Ooh. we did some picks. So Man, that's been good. We'll get some good stuff next week. We'll talk next week. All right. All right. Talk Scarlet's to everyone next week. Next week.